Hi there, stampers and crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com, and I have some excitement to share with you today. First, it's my Stamp It Demonstrator's August blog hop, and our theme this month is the upcoming Stampin' Up! holiday catalog. Demonstrators were able to pre-order from it early, so our blog hop posts are going to be shares from the upcoming catalog product line. And I have a new giveaway to announce at the end. I'll tell you how you can win that. And I'm also going to show you how to make my blog hop project, which is this super stinking cool cable knit sweater card made from the new cable knit dynamic impressions folder, which is flipping awesome. Awesome. You are just going to love it. This card opens up. It's very, very easy to make. You're going to die when you see how easy it is. All right, let's get started. Isn't it just stinking cute? I just love this dynamic folder. These are brand new. In fact, this is the first one we have at Stampin' Up! They're so new to the market. So very cool. It is 3D. This one's called Cable Knit, which instantly made me think of a cable knit sweater. And then, bammo, Sue Parker came out with this really cute design, which was different than mine. But when I saw it, it inspired me, and so I couldn't wait to start playing with the folder. It is coming out in the 2016 holiday catalog. I'm going to show you how to make this today and how to use this new dynamic folder. This folder is just awesome, all around awesome. And because fall is coming up here in New England, and that's the time when we start putting our sweaters and jeans on, it is my favorite season. Now, the dynamic folder is thicker plastic than our regular folders. You can get all of these measurements and the supply list and a free PDF file on my stampwithtammy.com blog that has all the products I'm using today and you can also purchase them all there too simply by going to this URL or clicking in the link in the YouTube description below. So I'm going to start with all my pieces. I'm using the Stampin' Up! badge punch for the pocket. I'm going to punch that out of some Sahara sand. Okay, I am breaking out an oldie but goodie. This is the Paper Crimper. Gotta love this puppy. Haven't used this in a long time. Um, you just squeeze the handle tight so your rollers are stuck together. And then you can actually take all four of these half inch strips and just place them right on here. And then you're going to turn away. Wait for it. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? <laughs> oh, fun stuff. So that's going to be all of our trim. Okay, next we're going to punch the neckline out of the card. For that, I've got the two inch circle punch. My, my card base is already folded in half. I'm going right in the center about halfway. There we go. And that will give us our neckline. We, we may just trim the edges just a little bit of that when we get to that point. Okay, now it's time for the folder. We're going to be doing both the Sahara Sand base and the badge punch. We do need to run them through separately. I don't think they quite fit in the folder at the same time, do they? Eh, actually, let's see if we get that puppy to the edge. They kind of just make it. So I guess technically you could run them through at the same time. Totally up to you. I'm going to do them separate. Okay, so... I'm putting this in the folder. I'm going to take in this is um, the Stampin' Up! spritzer. I've got it filled with water and I'm going to spritz lightly over the cardstock because that's going to help stretch it. Because it's going to get stretched for that 3D effect. This helps it a little bit. Okay, on the Big Shot I have got the Big Shot platform and then I'm going to put the cable net because it's a lot thicker than our regular one. So instead of using two cutting pads I'm putting this directly on the platform with one cutting pad on top. And that's all you need, and then crank it through. Are you ready for this? And that's it. That's all there is to it. Flipping awesome, right? And then just do the exact same thing with the badge. Run it back through. Okay, now we're going to do the neckline. Okay, so this is four and a quarter inches. We're going to measure in two and an eighth. I'm going to put that down about an inch and a half right there to that dot right there. And then at the top I measured in an inch on either side. So these three dots are what I'm going to be using. 
with the paper cutter. So I'm just going to line them up. So I've got that center dot and the and one top edge and I'm just cutting down to that center dot and then I'm going to rotate and then cut down on the other side. And that's going to create our V-neck. When I hold that over the card, see the little corner showing there? I am going to trim those two corners down just a, just a hair. There. That way they don't show what it looks like. You've got a little shirt on underneath your button-up sweater. And then we'll go ahead and for the, the badge punch, I just trimmed off the points. Just trim that off on the bottom. Cut straight across on the top, and that's going to make our pocket. Okay, next we're going to use my nemesis. <laughs> oh, I know. You know, I love to craft, and sometimes there's products that you just have to use that you don't always get along with, and this green glue is it for me. Really, with the texture and the crimping, it holds so much better than snail, which, as you know, I'm addicted to. So it is really a necessary evil on this card, but I just don't love it. <laughs> I just always seem to get it on my hands when I use it. And so that's why, oh green glue, baby, I hate you. Oh green glue. See that? See, I just hate when I do stuff like that. Now it's all over the place. Clearly it's an operator error. <laughs> Clearly I'm not using it right. And then when I go to wipe it off, I'm going to have it all over my finger. <sighs> so anyways, maybe it's just because I'm so messy that we just don't get along. But at the same time, you really do need it for this. I'm sure you guys are really neat and <laughs> don't have to worry about that. And just another piece here that goes from the V of the neck straight down. It's like we're, it's like we're knitting a sweater here, but a little bit easier. <laughs> and then we're going to cut one of these in half. I did cut each bottom at a little bit of an angle there. So when you put these two down, it gives you your little collar line. And then this last one on the pocket. So next we're going to trim our trim. <laughs> trim off all of these overhangs. And then we can go ahead and attach this to our card base. And then some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of our pocket. And that goes right down on the side. All we need is the finishing touch, which would be the, the metal edged pearls for the buttons. Love it! I think this might be my second favorite part aside from the sweater. I love these things. So they're just peel and stick. I put two big ones um, for the buttons of the sweater and then a little one on the pocket. And our stinking cute card is complete. So adorable. You are going to absolutely love this dynamic folder. And I'm going to have tons more ideas from the new Stampin' Up! Holiday catalog that's coming out September 1st on my blog. So stay tuned to that. And now let's hear about that giveaway. Okay, let's talk about that giveaway. We are giving away a brand new card kit, and here's the details on how you can enter to win. All you need to do is pop on over to my blog, and you can take the blog hop tour, and leave a comment on my blog with the hashtag Stamp It Contest. And you can enter once on each blog in the hop. So you can enter multiple times, once per blog, Entries will close on September 17th, and we will be announcing the winner on September 19th on our blogs. I'll be announcing it on my new winners page of my blog that I just created. And if you're watching this after the deadline, you can catch all of my current giveaways on my specials page on my stampwithtammy.com blog. Thanks for joining me today.